I, I, you're gonna die. Yeah, me too, probably. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, everyone. My name is Echo. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's video, we are checking out the Better on Bedrock mod pack. This was created by Poggy is Lit. And trust me, this is honestly going to be one of the coolest things you check out. When you load into the game for the first time, you are going to need to do the add-on configuration. So we're going to enable all of these, but I will explain what they do. Start tools gives you basic tools. It's not too OP. Corpse on death enables player corpse. So if you die, you know exactly where you died and your stuff is saved. What block is this? So this will enable a specific UI at the top of your screen. So when you look at a block, it's going to tell you what that block is. Now, like I said, I told you when you look at specific things, it's going to pop up on screen and tell you exactly what they are. So this right here is the wild carrots. Now, breaking these would just give you carrots. So you have a little bit of starter food. Right, like, check this out. We have a cute little raccoon. Now, this is going to be a first experience I've not really checked this out, but I do know what is available. There's new mobs, there's new biomes, there's new foods, there's new bosses, there's new ores. There is so much incredible stuff. Get this video to 5,000 likes, and I will do my own Let's Play of this. Let me teach you the basics. The starter tools that you get is a leather tunic. You'll be given a wooden axe and also a wooden pickaxe. Now, you're given three extra things here. Okay, so we have credits everybody who made this possible so a huge shout out to all of these people i'll leave the credits down below next to this we have a guidebook and this is going to teach you everything down to backpacks configuration uis waystones forger miner and so much more so i recommend keeping a hold of these but we also have this which is a rolled up quest scroll if you like quest based objectives in minecraft this is going to be perfect for you. Now, this is the ram, which I believe is one of the sheeps that used to be available in, in Minecraft Earth. And I, I, I got to show people at home, but if we hit him, you'll see here he's going down in terms of health. We might get lucky. We might get some food. Uh, we, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I just had to do that. But yeah, it, we managed to get ourselves a piece of wool and, of course, some, some mutton. And it's probably a good idea to make sure you pick up... Oh! Oh! It's got advancements. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah, like I said, there's, there's so much to learn with inside of this. And that biome looks super, super awesome. Anyway, before we get too distracted here, let's check out the rolled up scroll. So if you tap on this, you can then access this. And inside of here, we've got quest tiers. Again, you've got time to mine, adventure, monster, beyond uh, the villager, more food. So as time goes by, you're going to have a bunch of challenges to complete. The first one we need to do here is, of course, the materials one. And it wants us to find some raw iron, which we will do throughout this journey. But let's go do a little bit of exploring. Hold on. I've just seen an animal scurry past me. It is what I think it is. It's a cute little squirrel. Wait, is there nuts in this? Bro, I really want to tame this. They're so cute. I see a toucan over there as well. That's a toucan. There's toucans. There's birds. There's squirrels. There's raccoons. There's rams. Wait, there's another one. There's another one of these guys. Wait, what are you? What's that? What's that? Oh, it's the dotted sheep. Okay, well, we got a toucan as well. Oh, these are so cool. Hold on. I found a new type of tree. Peach fruit leaves. Correct tools is shears and they're harvestable. Wait, oh, there's this fruits. Oh, we got peaches. I'm taking this. Wait, can these be turned into seeds? They can't. Okay, but they can be eaten. Now, at this point, what I do want to tell you guys is there is a dark mode pack automatically enabled. All right, we need to grab ourselves um some of these because we're gonna have to make ourselves wait wait let's not let's not lose the peaches we're gonna have to make ourselves a crafting table aren't we it is gonna be nighttime soon so we can use these i wonder if creating and placing this down yes it did oh this is so cool okay i actually need to go and find some sheep because we are gonna need to make a bed i don't know what mobs come out at nighttime on this is that an enchanted pig wait what will it tell me exactly what you are pig why do you have like why does he have so much health oh wow he does have a lot of health hold on we, 
Wait! He... He dropped iron! Mr. Squirrel! Did you know pigs can now drop iron? Wait, that's actually really cool. Okay, I am actually getting a little bit worried because it is going to be nighttime. Wait, what's that? Bro, there's so many things. Hey, what's up, Mr. Raccoon? Are you okay? Do you need a friend? Okay, I think I should probably try and find a little bit more stuff before we do anything else. Wait, they're bees. Okay, they're bees. All right, I, I want to make sure I'm a little bit more protected. So I'm going to try and upgrade to stone. Another advancement has been made. I wonder how much saturation this gives me. I mean, the peaches aren't too bad. Okay, I'm going to make myself some sticks. I'm going to make myself definitely one of these. And I guess we'll make myself a stone pick. So we can kind of upgrade them. So many advancements are being made. I can also make myself a furnace as well. It, it, there's going to be a few scary mobs out there, but let's get... Let's use these. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to find out right now. In the meantime, I'm going to put that inside of there. I've got a lot of food. You can get food quite easily. Wild carrot. Oh. Oh, it actually says wild carrot rather than a regular carrot. Okay. Uh, what are you? A zombie. Um, let's see what he drops. Because he's also enchanted as well. Do you drop anything exciting? Okay, that could be incredibly OP. I managed to get myself a potion of strength, which is eight minutes. And what else did I get from this guy? A little bit of gold. I don't want to journey too far, but I just want to see what these guys drop. Now, imagine some of these mobs might actually be really, really strong. So he managed to drop quite a few of the bones. We also got a... Oh, oh, oh. We also got a speed potion. Obviously, he's just going to... Bro, this is... What are you? I think that's something from, from Minecraft uh, Dungeons. I've definitely seen them before. So you can see how chaotic this can be at nighttime. I, I want to make myself a few torches, but also available inside of this, I believe is like copper armor. And I've just seen some copper, so I want to get that real quick. So we do have a little bit of copper here. This is not quite an advancement, but I know there is new types of armor. And my guess would be that this would be one of them. Since this is something that a lot of the Minecraft community has always wanted. But we're just going to make a couple of these. I'll turn two of them into this. And then I'll turn the rest of these into fuel. I've also realized if you are doing the quests and you tap on this. And then you go to the actual item. You can start the quest and it says get one raw iron. Rewards will be 16 cobblestone and 25 XP, which is quite a lot. So each item is then going to have its its own thing. But you cannot see what the other stuff are going to offer you until you complete this one. I got to see what else we can get real quick from these mobs because these enchanted mobs seem to be pretty useful. Wait, was that an enchanted bow? It's just a regular bow uh, and some XP there. So we'll keep that. Got a couple of arrows there. Wait, did I gain an achievement or something there? It's another one. Screw it. I I'm going to do it. I I'm confident enough with my iron sword. Please miss. Please miss. These guys might be a lot more stronger. Okay, 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 okay. He's, he's a little bit stronger than I was expecting him to be. Oh, Lord. Wait, 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 wait. I got this too. I got this too. Okay, he is strong. Yep, I'm out. I'm out. And on that call, I am officially out and not fighting you. Is he? Is he? Oh, bro, he's coming over. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to die. It's too soon. Those those dudes are so powerful. Holy cow. All right, let's uh, grab this and let's keep smelting real quick. Can we make this into a chest plate? I knew I was correct. Yes, I can. So look at the difference there. Goodbye, leather tunic. All right, we're going to get fully kitted out in uh, the copper. A few moments later. Let's make the rest of my armor. So let's make our leggings. Let's make our hats. Wait, wait. Can we not make a hat? Is a helmet not a thing? Can you not make a helmet with this? I had five. Did I not? Let's try this one more time. Can I make everything other than a helmet? Is it like got to be up here or something? Ah, okay. So that's not currently shapeless. All right. I kind of expected that. But look at us. Look at us. Oh, it looks crazy seeing copper armor. But does that mean hold on one minute? Can I make myself a copper pickaxe? Sadly can't. If we type in copper... Yeah, okay. So I can make armor, but there is no such thing as copper tools. That's okay. All right, let's 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 go and do something real quick. Because what I did notice is I found all the way down here 
is is iron right there's a little bit of iron there so we can complete this quest and see what actually pops up so let's let's make our way down here there's gonna be a couple of other mobs that we have to deal with here yeah thank you for helping me what did he drop nothing exciting that looks like a new scary mob to me um where 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 was that where was that stuff at get rid of the spider real quick so some of the mobs have been recaptured get rid of you Armor's pretty good. There's a little bit of iron. Bro, where was the iron before? Am I blind or something? Please, 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 please don't do this. Okay, he's dead. Let me find this iron. Aha, it was a little bit further out. Okay, let's grab some of the coal too. Well, let's more importantly grab this. There we go. We can now... Wait, what are you? What's this one? It's tin. Oh, there's tin ore. Please leave me alone. Hold on. Let's grab this. Please don't kill me. What are you going to drop this time? Okay, so maybe they drop the same things. Yeah, we've got tons of bows from, from the same kind of skeletons. If I go ahead and open this and we click on this, this has been completed. So that just gave me XP and also the cobblestone. Obviously, next on my list is going to be this one, which is the whole quest and i'll get torches and xp so you can do quest related things and i think that's really cool so this one is fruit leaves we've already had these before which are peaches and there's also oranges as well hey i love oranges but the only thing i've noticed here is your inventory does fill up very very fast so with that i did a little bit of research and if we type in backpack there is also a backpack as well but in order to get this you need to get a small backpack first do dum dum give me gum gum i love these there's tons of statues dotted around the world as well there's one over there there's one here but i wonder if this like indicates something is there anything inside of this there is it's iron oh wait and gold wait what hold on let's let's mine our way through this Oh, there's silverfish. Got to watch out for those guys. Okay, so there's gold available. Mine our way up. I wonder if there's like diamonds. That would be like a, a nice surprise. A little bit more gold. Okay, the dum-dums do give you something. Uh, I need to get up there. I've got a few blocks here. Hold on. We'll, we'll tower up and then I'll mine my way down. Get right to the top of this head real quick. The top of you. Anything else inside here? Gold more golds even more golds and it it's just gold and iron i mean i say just it's pretty decent if you find a couple of these that to me looks like an illager so is this like a more advanced version of a pillager outpost hello knock knock who's there um it's me it's me with your amazon delivery what's in oh there's an enchantment table inside that's a witch there's two witches hold on they're trapped i mean we got lucky here there's there's an enchantment table here as well what's inside of here okay so we've got emeralds and a few other things as well what's inside of this one same again all right so this one actually was taken over oh there's an end chest oh at this point it'd be a really good idea for me to store any of my good the tor uh the the tin the the tin tor tor or coals and things like that would be a great way to store a couple of things I definitely see more ahead above me as well. You can make this into like your temporary housing place. Got an enchantment table in here. So that's a pretty good start. In fact, that's a really good thing for me to do right now. Is I would keep this and put it inside of there. Because uh, we know somebody's up here. And he knows that I'm going to be here. I mean, what's in this one? Uh, ooh, enchanted book again. Oh, it's a bed finally got a bed wait it's gonna be nighttime i i don't want to deal with nighttime right now so i think it'd be a, I, I, okay well i, I can only sleep at nighttime hello hello good sir hello hello please die okay got the emerald what did he have up here oh my days now that's a really really powerful book to have right at the start of your world there's so much stuff there's so much stuff to gather at once I've also realized that I can actually make myself a spear as well, which I... Yeah, you can throw these. All right, there's a creeper. Perfect. Perfect timing to show you guys. Although that didn't do a lot of damage, but I mean, it kind of did because I can kill them. But can I pick it back up again? Yes, you can pick them back up. I'm not going inside of there. A few moments later. I did find another tower and I found Rune of Hearts. Now, I'm still learning 
what a lot of these do. So I'm going to have to learn and wait to see what they do in future times. I found a house on the hill who must live here. I've had a lot of things trying to kill me. So I hope this is just going to be some kind of traveler who doesn't want to kill me. Do they have an... Hello. Hello. It's a goblin trait. Wait, what? What? There's a trader. I can get myself diamonds and blocks and I can get netherite in the overworld as well. Emeralds. I should have taken those emeralds from before. They would have given me golden apples. Right. I know like if I kill him, do I get his backpack? Okay, I don't. So can confirm if you do see a traveler, you're probably best off not killing them like I did. Also, I'm definitely taking the coal. This is something I've got to show you. This is a waystone. It's basically a spawn point. Enter the waystone name. If this field is not filled, the waystone name will be default. So if I do this uh, home one and submit, that's been saved because let's say that's my home location. I did see a couple of the waystones around here. Now these are craftable and will be found throughout your survival experience. And I just want to show you guys how this works because... Wait, what? Oh, wait, there's an owl. There's a cute little owl. Hello. You okay? What do you eat? Do you eat seeds? I mean, I know you eat mice, but I don't know if there's any mice on this. Do you eat seeds? No, I didn't think so. They're boring, right? Anyway, another one of these. So if I tap on this, I can teleport back to my house. My first location. Uh, three of these are really close to each other, which is a little bit unfortunate. But you can have tons of different waystones so good for finding home locations as for this i haven't seen this yet i know there's a, a boss in this world a new boss hey there we go golden apples i got another challenge done there and uh, i guess food we take the food advanced maid zombie doctor although that uh pop-up is a little bit broken there also tons of new biomes as well all right what is this Oh, yeah, you don't look friendly. Hold on. Maybe this is the time for me to... Bro, how far? How far away do you, do you get me from? Oh my God, is he really that powerful? Like, am I going to die here fighting this guy? You, am I... Am I Like, how, how strong are you? What's the best way to kill this guy? What's the best way to kill you, bro? Hmm? Hmm? Get in the water. I think he's meant to be like a an evoker kind of thing. I'm guessing so. I don't know how far this guy is going to go, but like I kind of want to take him back to land real quick. Wait, do I have any arrows? I don't. I just remembered I also picked up a strength potion too, right? Oh, that's broken. That's not good news. Listen, I can kind of disable him in the water as well. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I eat my, uh, my other golden apple here before he kills me. Oh, my days. We have multiples. Is it you? Are you the main guy? I will kill you. I, I, you're gonna die. Yeah, me too, probably. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, this is why, like... Oh, bro, I'm back at spawn. I have come back in creative mode. Because I want to show you guys a couple of things as well. But here is my corpse. And, like, I can, I can get, like, everything off the body. That's so useful. That's a really, really cool feature. So if you die, don't panic. Your stuff isn't gone. It's going to stay there. And then you can like tap on it and get rid of it and it'll disappear. That is so cool. I checked out that add-on separately before, but I just want to quickly kill this guy and show you guys what he might actually drop here. I think there's like three or four bosses in this as well, but this guy was definitely strong. Come on. 375 health he has. And upon dying... My good friend will drop. Hold on. Let's put these on real quick. What did he actually drop for me? I actually don't know what he dropped. Oh, yeah. And when you kill these, listen to the noise. A little throwback to Age of Empires there. I love it. Oh, so if I go to his chest, I can get the tree capitator. I can get diamonds and an iron helmet as well. This is something cool that I wanted to show you. This is a bounty board. Now, if we just go to forward slash game mode S here and we interact with this, there's actually an extra bounty that you're able to do. There's also some extra goodies as well. Common loot bag. Again, I think they're basically like the ones from Minecraft 1.20. Uh, I've completely forgot what they're called. But anyway, 
we have the rolled up scroll. And if we access this, there's a couple of the bounties available, like cows. If I manage to kill cows, I'll be given coal and XP. And you can do even more challenges other than the ones that you first had at the start of this world. Now, one thing I will say, and there probably is a way to do this, but I died. I lost all my stuff, right? Um, how do I get my challenge book or quest book back? That would be something that should be able to be done with a command. Oh, wait, this is a perfect stop off point for us, by the way. I, I, end of in tears. Hey, there we go. There's so much to learn and so much to do. And I also discovered right in front of me over here. This is obviously another kind of fight. Oh, oh, another kind of fight that you're able to do. And these will generate in your world. And... Oh, hey, listen. Like, I'm... Why are you fighting with me? I'm in creative mode. All right, this guy doesn't seem to like me. Netherite armor looks so much cooler in this. Now, this is a forger. And you're able to mess around with forges. Forge to gilded netherite, etc. Forge to stardust. So, if we grab ourselves some stardust. And this is something new available inside of here, by the way. So Stardust, we'll grab six, uh, 64 of them. And what else do we need here? It says we don't have enough of the of these. Okay, let's turn this into this. There you go. So now we've got what is considered Stardust. And at the same time, we also have something here, which is called the Miner's Bench. And you have to be holding a specific item here. So if we wanted to enchant this, where... let's just read this real quick. Oh, this is where... Okay, so if we were to type in Capitator which is a, a book, which we had before. If I was to enchant, it would then give you the capitator. So if I was going back to game mode survival, so if you've got to crouch with this one, hold on. Uh, I don't, I, I don't, I, I'm crouching, but do you have to crouch? No, you don't. So yeah, three capitators as well. And there's also minor versions of this. So I just wanted to show you guys as much as possible that is available. I honestly think there's still tons I've missed. Sparrow birds. We have deers. Uh, we have wizards. They, they will... Tra oh, okay. This makes so much more sense. If you get the runes, you can then trade them for specific uh, staffs. So if we go back to game mode C, we type in staff here. We can get something. Let's do like the staff of C's. What does the staff of C's do? So if we activate this, you'll see here, we now have water breathing and night vision. So obviously, when you go on your journey in the oceans, you could take this with you. Everything makes sense. Everything has a use. All the biomes are super cool too. Hoggy did an incredible job with this mod pack. All the links for this are down below. Go and support him. Get this video to 5,000 likes and I'll do my own let's play of this. Again, there's custom villages. Aha! So this is where our good friend... The wizard lives. I believe there might be custom music as well available in this pack, but I have that off just to prevent any form of copyright issues. Go and check it out for yourself. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.